In a need to improve mobility of people, decentralized operation and easy access of transportation to the people of Koboko, Nelstar Company on Saturday opened its fully-fledged office in Koboko branch. <laughs> A number of travelers and community members in Koboko have expressed excitement and gratitude to the company for the timely intervention, saying they used to face a lot of challenge with buses that are booked from Yumbe, especially with double booking and lack of enough space. She is a team of Nile Star, Trade League Limited. Uh, we are trying to extend our services from Koboko to Oraba extensively the target is interstate business we feel we should be extending better transport service for the community of this area it is therefore very very important to meet you people at this time uh, the community of Oraba had been located strategically at the border of Uganda and South Sudan. We are brothers. We feel service delivery to the community of Uganda and South Sudan is a very, very great development because we want to develop this place. Transport is one of the best things we could best do to develop this area. Uh, we gave the information through the business community chairman of Oraba. I think he was also one of the members who got the report. I was with my colleague last Wednesday in Koboko town. I passed the information to him that we are interested to extend our services of transport up to here. However, as per now, these buses are best only allocated for Koboko or our business community. Therefore, you are going to be served with the utmost good faith as the business of Nylestar is concerned. That's why we are here. So, when someone will ask you, tell them Nylestar is going to offer business, I mean services to or our business community, Koboko business community, Simon London, Kerry business community, respectively. We are going to cross to Sudan as soon as possible. Once we feel, fulfill the, the rules and regulations needed by the government of the two boundaries. Alora John, a businessman in Koboko dealing in hardware and general mechanics, says this is a timely service to the business community of Koboko. My name is I'm called Alora John, a businessman in Koboko. I deal in hardware and the general merchandise. My business. My business name is called Tanzanita. In English, it's called, let, uh, actually, if you translate in English, it means let them say. Actually, I am taking this privilege to thank the Nile Star Bus Company for the privilege that they have given to the people of Koboko and the business partners in Koboko for doing that. Because historically, when we hear about Nile Star, the foundation of the Nile Star started in Koboko. But we people of Koboko, when the Nile Star comes back, we are not benefiting from the transport system. Because it was in Yumbe, first of all, we are using, they use the bus from Yumbe. When you book in Koboko, you have to book the bus which is in Yumbe. Sometimes it will come to Koboko when the bus is full, you find, uh, you find yourself put in taxi, taken to Arua to board in Arua. So, Right now, I want to thank the management of the Nile Star for them to listen to the cry of the people of Koboko, why they made to give us four buses. And it is the effort of the business community, their cry, which made them to, which, pre, which actually press the Nile Star bus company to give us buses so that people of Koboko will use their own buses. Sanya Wilson, the mayor of Koboko municipality who appreciated the company for the decentralized services, was advised has advised for need to relocate the office since it's on the road reserve. Parking. That's called transport road. The road where baby coach, night coach, all of you are parking in the wrong location. 
your offices are in the wrong location, not in the location where the municipalities are located. So I find it very hard for us to go and cut a ribbon in that office. Very, very hard. I'll be going against the approval of the council. I therefore request, Nainsta, you join me, the mayor, support me. I request you to support me, support my council. Let us move you to the right place. And we use as an example of organizing Koboko Municipality. You can help me organize this town. I am going to request that you move Nainsta offices to the right location. And I can guarantee you, all the other buses will follow your example. Thank you very much. My name is Dr. Sanya. I am the mayor of Koboko Municipal Council. Today, we, 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 this is yet another development for us to have nice support bus, uh, bus company coming back, giving us a deliberate root chart, Koboko Kampala. This is a development that as a mayor of Koboko Municipality, I have received with both hands. My appeal is this. We want to see a bus that will take care of us. We appeal the management to make sure that customer care is number one. The safety of the people is number two. And the third one is the government. It is the only you know, roads coming to West Nile, which is the worst road in the whole country. If roads coming to West Nile is the worst, we don't know what the government is thinking, but our appeal as local leaders is that we want to see that our roads are being renovated. Some of the accidents we are getting along these roads is not because of overspeeding is because of too much potholes. So we're appealing to the government to consider working on the roads from Karuma up to Arua. I am very happy, we are very glad with what the uh, government is doing between Soroti and Lera, Lera to Kamudin. We are happy with what is happening in other areas, but the road from Karuma, Karuma to Pakwach, Pakwach to Nebi, Nebi to Madiokolo, Madiokolo to Arua, is the worst road in the whole of West Nile. So we are appealing for the safety of these buses, for the safety of our people. The road needs to be prioritized for our people. But above all, the message is that as people of Koboko, we are very, very happy with the management of Nilesta for giving us a route chart. We are very happy with the Ministry of Transport for accepting a route chart for Koboko as the district. We look forward to working with the bus, traveling it, and supporting the bus. The other appeal is that we want to have an executive bus for Koboko municipality. We cannot be using the ordinary. We now want to board also the executive for Koboko. So we pray for the management to consider also setting for us an executive bus for Koboko district. So that we don't have to go to Arua and board from there. We can as well board from here and continue with these buses. So I appeal to the drivers. The safety is number one. We will only continue to praise drivers who drive slowly but take us safely. So my advice to the drivers is let's not be excited with the new buses now on the road want it to be always ahead of the old ones what we need is the buses must be comfortable but they must be taken safely no hurry no competition on the way because you are driving a new number plate therefore you have to move faster that one at the end of the day will make a worse driver so my appeal to the drivers let's take our people safely we don't want to hear any fatalities we pray that they remain professional and drive within the speed limits however travelers are calling upon government to expedite the construction and rehabilitation works on Pakwach Owinyo Road and Pakwach Nebi Arua Road, which says, which they say is affecting movement and increasing vehicle repair costs. When you see a road from here up to Arua is okay, but a road from Arua to Pakwachi, it is somehow okay. But from Nebi, from Nebi to Pakwachi, it is also it is also a problem. You find people lose their things on the road, especially the lorries. You find the businessmen lose their things. So this one I will urge the government, when anything coming like this, we shall urge them to work on that road. At least to make that we people of Koboko, we run our business smoothly. Also these bus companies run their business smoothly. You know Names are um, Badawi Mohammed, Koboko branch manager. Uh, what Nailsa is bringing now for Koboko, I see it is a very big opportunity. This is an opportunity which has never happened and in my life i've never witnessed uh, a bus company launching such a function and to me it is an advantage to the people of koboko especially the business and the community this is an opportunity for them uh, in our launching the mayor made it clearly that where we are parking these are road reserves of which they will have to relocate us 
I know what the mayor is saying, it is uh, for the development of Koboko and for the community as well. For that case, we as the Nile Star, we are willingly and we shall have to support it in every, every case that it comes up. We are ready to move wherever the government has relocated us to be because those are the gazetted areas for the bus companies and taxis. For that case, we shall have to abide with the development of the of the of the government. Uh, Nile Star has not only come for the business people alone, like he, it had said clearly, it is it will also support the the government, and there will be cutters like uh, for today's case, Nile Star has come up saying they are going to donate ten mattresses for the. For Koboko Hospital. For that case, I think there are a lot coming. With its operation that started in 2019 with major West Nile routes and South Sudan, the company currently has over 24 buses in major West Nile routes and employed over 500 workers, majority of whom are youth. Sunday Esther, Lighter TV, Business News.